Hello, everyone. This is Bhargav here covering off on major issues across Asia, Pacific and Europe, Middle East and Africa. Today, Paul will not be joining us as he's busy with other client related tasks. We have Uday to cover off on East Asia Pacific. Over to you there. Thanks, Bhargav. So in East Asia Pacific today, we covered 21 events, and I'll just run through a couple of them quickly. So student protests in Indonesia are continuing. We've been tracking that for a while, and um, this has the potential to get a lot bigger. So businesses need to be wary, given the tensions in the country at the moment. Uh, also in Indonesia, police in Aceh confis confiscated uh, 1,500 liters of subsidized fuel that was apparently illegally hoarded by members of the Indonesian military. So uh, that's always interesting. Uh, there's been a cooking oil shortage and an increase of price of necessities in the country, and that's been adding to unrest. And in Thailand, at least 47 people were killed and 292 people were injured in 301 road accidents around Thailand on April 12th. Uh, Songkran is ongoing, so be careful when you're driving around. That's it from me for EAP. Of course, we did the Myanmar Daily, which is a separate production. Over to you, Bhargav. In South Asia, there were 14 other developments and one assessed issue. Sri Lanka keeps burning. There seems to be no end in sight for the current crisis. We have issued a special advisory on that. Uh, the, they have decided to default on the foreign debt entirely, and we are not too sure if there'll be further negotiations on that front with the external uh, creditors. However, for businesses, they need to note that the protesters have refused an invitation by the president Rajapaksa, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, uh, for uh, talks to end the protests and the current crisis. Uh, uh, for businesses, they, they should also note that the protests uh, are likely to create uh, disruptions, especially in terms of uh, operational routes or or even in terms of uh, energy, uh, access to energy supplies across the country. So for any detailed uh, assessments, they can reach out to us. Uh, we are happy to help. Um, and with that, we'll wrap up uh, South Asia. Uday, are there a couple of other uh, yeah, issues? Just, yeah, so in South Asia, we covered 15 events today. And aside from what Bhargav had just talked about, there's increased security in Bangladesh for Bengali New Year, the first day of which is today. And uh, the protests in Pakistan over the recent political crisis continue. Uh, Bhargav, I know you'd love to talk about that, but I think we could move on to Europe, Middle East. And That's have a wrap. There for East Asia Pacific. Certainly, thank you for that and we'll wrap up. Uh